What's up course heroes welcome back today we're talking about how to set up a lead magnet and this is a new series and this video is going to be the first video in this new series which I call whiteboard Wednesdays and in whiteboard Wednesdays what I'll be doing is whiteboarding things out because it's easy for me to show you bits and pieces of technology but sometimes it's hard to grasp how that all connects with each other so I'm going to take this opportunity or uh, every Wednesday called whiteboard Wednesday to bring to you solutioning just using a simple whiteboard and I obviously don't have a whiteboard hanging behind me so I'm going to use my iPad and share my screen on my iPad to show you how you can solution certain things out whether that's a lead magnet or setting up your email marketing funnels or just setting up a funnel for selling a course with that today's topic is how to set up a lead magnet and deliver that to your students or your potential students hence called a lead so let's get started with that thank you so much for watching and if you're new to the channel consider hitting the subscribe button so you get notified every time i release a new video let's get started all right guys so i am in my uh, I'm on my whiteboard and I'm going to show you how I have set up a lead magnet funnel and there are a few ways you can do it. So the first way we're going to do it is by pretending that you have a website on Wix or WordPress and you also have a sign up bar set up on that website Word or Wix or WordPress and then how do you actually get those people their uh, free PDF or whatever they have asked for. So I'm going to pretend that this is my website. Oh, let me turn the pen on and we're going to say that this website is built on either Wix or WordPress. Now what you want to do here is on your website. So I'm going to pretend this is my website. You want to have a form here, a sign up form. And this sign up form is going to ask for your leads details and that's going to be a name and also an email and any other fields that are required for you uh, these might be different for anyone uh, from person to person i usually only ask for an email because there's less friction but you can ask for whatever fields that you want now how do you set up this form so this form uh, usually it's a code that you get from your email marketing provider so code or oh, let's write that here code from ESP that means uh, that stands for email service provider so you usually get a code or a form that you inject into your website so this particular website is living on Wix or it's living on WordPress those are the two uh, options that we're doing right now and I'll do a new one too after this and the new one is going to show you how to do this in New Zendler but let's pretend that your website is on Wix or WordPress you get a code that's an HTML piece of code from your email marketing provider and you inject that code into your website and now you start collecting these leads. Now what happens after the lead is collected? How do you actually deliver the goods to them? So what you do here is, uh, let me undo this. Once you have collected the lead, you will then set up an email. I'm gonna start a new uh, whiteboard here. So let's start a new one. So here's your website here's your sign up form you have collected their name and email once this hit the submit button there are two things you can do either you can take them to a page which is called the thank you page and on that thank you page you can give them that download as a link so on this thank you page there will be a button here and that button when they click it they can download whatever it is that you were giving them and this file can live in a few places this file can either live in your email service providers platform some email service provider platforms allow you to do this or this file can also live in your WordPress or Wix site not recommended so this is not recommended. what I would recommend is you create a free account and once you upload a lot of files here it's still super cheap it's like three or four dollars a month very cheap it's called Amazon s3 so Amazon s3 is going to be my recommendation there are tons of videos on YouTube on how to set this up. You can look it up. It's super easy, user friendly. And depending on when you're watching this video, if you get an AppSumo deal, which I'll put in the link in the description, they have a deal on this company called startups.com. And if you get that deal for $49, you get 
about $5,000 worth of Amazon credits. I'm going to show you my account, a screenshot. I have $10,000 worth of Amazon credits. I'm not going to use them anytime soon. So upload your files in this S3 bucket. And then once you upload your file, you can get the PDF or whatever kind of file it is. You can get that link. So get the link for that file and that link can be put into this button. So that link can be put in this button. Now, when your user clicks this button, they are going to be shown that Amazon S3 file. So that's one way to do it. Uh, but here's my, here's my take on this. What I would suggest is you actually link from your main page, your landing page, we're going to call this. Pardon my handwriting, landing page. This is where you collected the email opt-in with their name and email. And then when they hit the submit button, which was, let's say this was the submit button, take them to the thank you page, but on this thank you page, sell them something else. Because this lead is hot right now, right? They have just made that commitment to buy something from you. So you want to continue to nurture this lead right away. So give them something here. It can be a low hanging product, also known as a tripwire. So it can be like a $7 product or a $9 product. So you can do that here, or you can give another call to action. So instead of having them sign up uh, or instead of giving them what they came for, you can have them sign up to your Facebook group. So you can have a button here, which links to your Facebook group. And now whenever someone hits the submit button, one, you have collected that lead, but now you've added that lead to your Facebook group. And then another additional step that's going to happen here is you will get them to open your emails because you can say here, check your email. And in that email, you are going to provide them with the PDF that they originally came here for or whatever, uh, if it's not a PDF, whatever you're, you're promising, maybe it's a video series, send them that using your email marketing provider. Do not, again, I would say do not offer that to them right there on the thank you page because they could be using a fake email to do this. So that would be my suggestion is to not give them what they came for right away on your thank you page. Now, here's how I am doing this. I have my website on Medium. There, I offer them a freebie. To get that freebie, they have to opt in. And that opt in happens on my WordPress site. But again, in your case, it could be Wix. They provide me with their name, their email. So name, email. Then on the thank you page, I have a call to action for them. This is the TY page. So I have a call to action for them here, also known as CTA. And then what I do is I take these details here and I put them in my email service provider, which is Moosend. And then within that email service provider, I have a delay. So I'm going to draw a clock here and I have a delay of five minutes. Now, here's the reason why I have the delay of five minutes before I actually send them what they came for. Because if I send them that email right away, they will most likely get a notification up here, right? If I scroll down here, you see the notifications. They're going to see that notification right away and bounce from my thank you page without reading my call to action. And I figured this out when I walked through my funnel myself as a lead, as a student. So that is another important thing is make sure you're walking through your own funnel to figure out what the heck it is that your uh, pos potential leads or your potential students are going through so you can see where those gaps are and you can fix those gaps. When I saw that I was getting an, an email right away, I was like, well, I just clicked on that email and I bounced from the thank you page and that's not good. That's when I put that five minute timer. So just to recap, uh, what we did here is you have your site. Your site is on Wix or WordPress. This is the page that your visitors are coming. Your you have some copy here. I'm assuming your copy is good and you're getting your visitors to convert. You're collecting their name and email. So let's put name and email. Then from there, you're sending them to a thank you page. And here you're not giving them what you they came for. You have another call to action button here. Then these leads are being collected in your email service provider. And then from your thank you page, you're either asking them to join a Facebook group or you're selling a low offer product or all often known as a tripwire and then from there you'll continue to nurture them if they have not purchased this product you'll continue to nurture them and if they have purchased the product then you put them in a different email marketing series where you now continue to try to sell them on your core offer which would be like your big course that you're selling so that's what that's how i would do it 
again uh, you can also deliver the goods the file that they came for whether it's a pdf an image or whatever it is a quiz whatever it is that you promise them you can deliver it few different ways you can either send it directly through your email service provider where you upload the file to your email service provider then they will give you the link to that file and that link will be in the email that you send them this is the email you send them in this email there will be a link and that link will open up this file that they came for so that's option number one option number two is to upload the file directly to wix or wordpress not recommended but if this is how you want to do it then have added and then grab the link to that file and same thing then put it in your emails or option number three would be to use aws amazon web services also they have this uh, product called s3 so use s3 oops i lost my whiteboard here use s3 to deliver that pdf or whatever file it is that they asked for uh, you can even host videos there and the pricing is dirt cheap it's like pennies uh, for a gigabyte or something and then you link to that in your email service so that's how you do it i'm going to put in a link in the description below where you can go through my funnel and see how i'm delivering the pdf to you and there you have it course heroes that is how you can set up a lead magnet funnel regardless of the software that you use so don't overcomplicate it in your head on what software you're going to use you as you saw in this video there are multiple ways to set up a lead magnet and uh, hopefully one of these work out for you if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them below and i'll see you on the flip side